Hey what's up guys, it's Evan again and I've got some very interesting information to share with you, okay? Most of you know by now, if you have been following this channel, uh, you would know that some batches of Sony 1000 XM3 headphones have this issue in which uh, after a period of time, clicking sounds will appear in either the left or right ear cup and it only appears when noise cancelling is switched on. Now I've made a video about this in which I tried to fix the issue by slapping the ear cup and if you want to watch that video, you can click right over here. However, many of you managed to get replacement from Sony under warranty which is great but I've got one viewer from Indonesia who tried to do the same thing but through an authorized Sony dealer. So it's not the same thing, he didn't buy it direct from Sony, he bought it from an authorized Sony dealer which is like buying through a middleman so he wasn't able to get a replacement on the spot uh, they had to send the unit in to Sony to check and to see what can be done about it. The whole conversation stretched out for a few weeks, after which he got a reply from Sony Indonesia that there's no problem with the unit. But that's not the interesting part. What's really interesting is the explanation that they gave as to which why there is no problem, okay? Now, check this out. I'm putting up the message right over here that he got from Sony. Obviously, it's in Indonesian. And since I'm not able to read Indonesian, I've got it translated and this is what they said. Now, I'm using Google Translate here, so this is not the perfect translation, but if any one of you speaks Bahasa Indonesia, it'll be great if you could help me to translate this in the comment section, okay? Uh, but I sort of get a gist of it. They're saying that after checking, this is a normal unit. Uh, the explanation is that uh, these headphones have a, have a touch screen function. I think what they mean is the touch controls feature. When it is touched or tapped using the hand, to hear the noise outside, uh, meaning ambient sound pass through, uh, noise cancelling is still active. Indeed, there is a slightly disturbing sound, be it in the form of a crackle, echo, or magnetic wave, but this is normal, not including damage, which means that this uh, unit is not damaged at all. What's really interesting is that they are claiming that magnetic waves, or EMI, electromagnetic interference, could be the cause of that clicking sound, which I find ridiculous, okay? Because first of all, EMI does not sound like that. Look, I don't consider myself a big time audiophile, but I've dabbled in hi-fi before and the EMI that I had to deal with, it sounds more like a hum, a very high pitched ringing hum in the background and it varies in pitches. So sometimes it could be a lower pitch and sometimes it could be a higher pitch and then go down to a lower pitch again. So that's the kind of EMI that I had to deal with. And it comes from the power line. And it's a very tricky problem to deal with because a lot of appliances can introduce electromagnetic noise into your power line, like microwave ovens, refrigerators, LED bulbs. So it's very hard to totally isolate and shield your system from electromagnetic interference. And more so if you have a a Wi-Fi router or Bluetooth device nearby. But this is a whole other thing that I don't want to deal with right now, but what I want to say is this. The technician that gave this diagnosis probably doesn't know what is going on because even if what he said is true and EMI has somehow something to do with the problem, what he said that when I switch off the noise cancelling, the clicking stops, shouldn't it be a continuous thing? And why is it that not all 1000XM3s are affected? So. I don't think this is due to an external factor like EMI. Most probably it's a, an internal one, like something to do with the noise cancelling circuitry. Maybe some batches of 1000XM3s uh, have a loose wire or something like that. Who knows? But whatever the case, from what I'm reading on Reddit, it appears that Sony is quite willing to replace this unit under warranty. Uh, but I've got a few tips, okay? So if your headset, your 1000XM3, is experiencing this clicking noise problem, it's best that you go straight to Sony directly and not through a third-party dealer. Even if you have bought your headphones from that dealer, okay? Go straight to the Sony service center, bring the receipt and show them the issue in person because I guarantee you, if you were to try to describe the issue to them over an email, it's not gonna work very well, okay? so. Go straight to them directly and show it to them in person and hopefully you'll, get, you'll be able to get the problem resolved as soon as possible, okay? And of course, I love hearing from you guys. I love reading your comments. So if you've got anything you want to add to this video, 
please do so in the comments section below. But right now, what I want to do is to read some of your comments and react to them, okay? The Chill Master with that naughty bunny icon. He commented on my uh, Sony headphones cushions replacement video. Do you know how to do this with the XM2? Yes, in fact, I do. It's exactly the same way you would do it with the 1000 XM3. No kidding. Jay's no Nokoli on my Why Everyone Should Buy Samsung Galaxy Buds video. Apple joins the chat. Hi, we have AirPods. Samsung joins the chat. We raise you Galaxy Buds. Apple left the chat. Java joins the chat. Hi, we have the Elite 65T. Everyone else left the chat. I love these comments guys, keep them coming. Dr. House 2004 commenting on my JBL Free vs JBL Run video. I don't care about your butts, only your Japanese accent. <laughs> I love this comment. Okay, first of all, Watashi wa Singapore Jin desu. So arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Aaron. You're watching Aaron's Line Wireless. If you like this video, please punch that like button and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and remember to ring the bell to join my notification squad because I upload videos every single week and this is the only way you'll get notified, okay? I am not able to put up a lot of reviews these days because in Singapore, not a lot of companies are bringing in new products yet. But if you love this content, I'll make more of it. So thank you guys for watching again and I'll see you again in the next one, okay?